Beloved in the Lord, the peace of the Lord be with you all. We bless the Lord for this wonderful day and we continue to appreciate him for the good things the Lord has done and he will continue to show us mercy. Shall we bow down our heads in prayer? Almighty Father, we thank you this day. We bless you for establishing this wonderful day for us. We pray that Father come and speak to us in a wonderful manner. Let us understand your word and let us move by your word. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. People of God, we thank the Lord for his mercies for this particular day. And this particular day, the theme for reflection is taken. The theme, from, the theme for reflection is allotment of territory between the tribes. And it is taken from Joshua chapter 18, verses 11 to 28. For the purpose of time, I will not be able to read the entire text, but I will concentrate on the last verse, which is the verse 28, which is the verse 28 of Joshua chapter 18, verses 11 through 28. I would like to ask to read. I'm reading. Zela, Halef, Jebush, Gibeah, and Kiriajem, 14 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Benjamin according to his families. Beloved in the Lord, when you get time to read the entire text, you realize a lot of geography names, a lot of town names, the depicting villages, depicting towns, and depicting cities with reference to the geographic terrain of the area. And it continues to ring a particular bell of distribution, land use distribution pattern as was guided by Joshua. But before we can appreciate the dynamics of this test, we should go to Joshua chapter 1 and understand the calling and the basis of Joshua. We should not forget that Joshua was a servant to Moses. He had served under his leadership for so many years before the change of leadership was effected and he took over from Moses. So, people of God, he had a lot of knowledge. Moses had imparted leadership skills to him and he knew a lot when it comes to geography and mapping, population analysis, human behavior dynamics. And because Moses was trained in Egypt, for sure, Joshua had learned mathematics and knew a lot about projection, projection, scenarios, and the use of decimals. So with this background, for me, it is not surprising that Joshua took the leadership. And in Joshua chapter 18, you could see that he was in action. There are a few things I would like us to take as the, 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 as the point for reference. The first point is that Joshua knew the mandate. He knew his calling. He knew what the Lord has called him to do. And he, was, he never abated. He, 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 was, he was faithful to the task. The task of possessing the land and distributing the properties to the people according to their family orientation and their tribes, of which Joshua kept on that. He concentrated on that core mandate. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that the core mandate that the Lord has given you to serve in his house, you will never lose sight of it, but you will do it faithfully in the mighty name of Jesus. Secondly, Joshua involved the people. He caught the people. He engaged the people through dialogue, negotiation, and discussion. And the people understood him before he could distribute the land to them. Beloved in the Lord, in our leadership process, we should be able to engage our people. We should be able to dialogue with our people so that they will come to understand the vision, the situation, and how it goes. He was able to articulate the vision to the people. Therefore, when it came to the distribution, he didn't find it so difficult. The tribe of Benjamin had their share. And then the, the adjoining towns and cities and the villages had also their portion according to their number. It means that he, 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 had, he had that foresight of, of, of engaging the local people in the decision process. It is my prayer that we will appreciate the knowledge base of our people that we are leading. It is my prayer. It is my prayer. I pray that God gives us that 
spiritual intelligence, that level of wisdom, so that we engage everybody in the decision-making process. Then thirdly, he, he, he understood the people. He, he actually learned the behavior dynamics of the people. If we don't understand the people we are leading, then it will be very difficult for us to lead them to. He understood them. So you could see that the distribution was done systematically, systematically, according to the names of the family, according to the name of the town, according to the name of the cities, and based on the tribal position of the people. He selected them based on the total number. He dealt with population, the figures. I pray in the name of Jesus that wherever you are, no matter how small you are, no matter how you may even see yourself, in the distribution of resources, you will never be left out. May God empower us this day. May the Lord bless us so that whatever that the Lord has given to us, the charge that he has given to us, we will remain faithful to accomplish and to, to accomplish the task and be faithful to that calling. I pray that God gives us that energy in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless the Lord for his word. Now may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and bless you in every activity that you undertake in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. People of God, this is from Reverend Bernard Sheme, Minister in Charge of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Frankfurt Congregation in the Germany District of the Euro Presbytery. The Lord richly bless us all. Amen.